Okay. So Be'ezer Hashem, we're going to learn. There's noises up. Oh, it's you. <laughs> we're going to learn about Svira and particularly about Lag Boimer. So what is Lag Boimer? What is Svira? We talked a little bit last time, but a little bit different, a different kav, a different way of understanding it. At least in terms of understanding what is Lag Boimer. So, the simple reason why the days of Svira are connected to some type of dinah velas, and that it's seen as some type of time of mourning, is because everybody knows, the Gemara Nivam, the Gemara says, that Rabbi Kiva had Talmidim, there was Chav Dalid, that there was 24,000 Talmidim, 24,000 peers, according to the Madrash, which is 48,000. Many, many Talmidim, many students of Rabbi Kiva, they didn't honor each other and they passed away during this time period. And uh, the Gemara just says that the world was like empty and void. And then Rabbi Kiva gathered another five students, another five Talmidim, Rameir, Rabbi Yehudah, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Lazar Shamua, these five Talmidim, these five students, and restarted it again. And the Gemara then concludes that what was, how did they pass away? So the Gemara says they passed away with Askara. Askara is some type of uh, immune, uh, like breathing problem issue, and that's why they passed away. So the Gemara actually itself doesn't say that because of that, this is a time, a specific time, we do something because of that. The Gemara just gives a story. It doesn't say anywhere <coughs> in the Gemara that we, it's a time of mourning, or a time that you're not supposed to do something. Let's say a time that we don't get married, or you don't take haircuts, or you don't play music. Where does it come from? Uh, for example, the Rambam, who's ruling from the Gemara, doesn't bring it down. Doesn't bring that whole idea of Sphira. I mean, it brings the idea of Catholic Sphira, but doesn't talk about Sphira as a time of mourning. So where does it come from? It comes from the times of the Goinim, apparently. That's the earliest source that we know, post the Gemara. The Gemara the, the, from the Teruya Goin, one of the early Goinim, speaks about this time as a time of din. Of judgment. Um, we mentioned also last week that, that Rabbi Yerucham also said this is a time of din. And in the earlier sources from the Rishonim, we see that it was a time that you were not supposed to take haircuts. Haircuts was actually came, seems to come before the idea of not getting married. And then it was marriage, and later on it was music. Mechaylis, and then that's what it says. So how does this work? What is, what is exactly this? The real question is, I mean, there's a lot of ways to understand it. But one of the big questions is, what specifically about the, fo- the 40, 24,000 students of Rabbi Kiva, that because of that, ever since then, for thousands of years, we mourn their passing. Okay, unfortunately, if you know a little, uh, you know, Jewish history, this is not, this, unfortunately, this is not one of the biggest uh, disasters that happened. And we don't, you know, commemorate, uh, you know, the Crusades or the Chamelinsky uh, event for, for hundreds, tens of days, you know, for, for, 39, 40, you know, 50 days. And also, what does it have to do with, with Lag Boimer? Why Lag Boimer particularly is, is, is celebrated? So if you look, if you look in the Rishonim, we're going to get a little deeper, but first, just general understanding. If you look at some of the Rishonim, some of the early commentators, you'll see that it was seen this time period, this time period of the year between Pesach and Shavuos was generally considered a time of din, a time of judgment. And that, that brought out a certain harshness. There's actually already a Mishnah. There's a Mishnah in the Idiyas. The, the Mishnah says that a Mishpat of Gogol uh, Mogad, Mishpat of the, the Mishnah says many different mishpat, uh, types of judgment is 12 months. And then Rabbi Yechim Nuri says that the Mishpat of Rishoyim, the judgment for people that have passed on already after 120, is is from Pesach to Shuas. That's the time of judgment in Ghana, uh, that time period. And it says, because the Pesach says, and Shabbos Shabbos to Shabbos, Shabbos is Pesach, Shabbos to Shabbat is Pesach to Shuas. That's the idea. So you see already there's a time of judgment, a mishpat, of, of din, of, of judgment, some type of ruling and judgment. There's also another Mishnah, the Mishnah Rosh Hashanah, and the Mishnah Rosh Hashanah says that, and that is a uh, Bedalad, uh, you, you didn't, you figured it out? You're here. 
So Bedala Prakim, that the Olam is needed, the world is judged different, different times of the year. And the, the Mishnah says that on Pesach, the world is judged for, the Mishnah says it's judged for Tfua. Shuas is a Mishpat for Peir Se'ilan, for the fruit of the tree. So we see there already, and then it says Rosh Hashanah at Kolboy Olam. But the first three, two, is judgment of, of, of vegetation, of Tfua, of, of grain. That is a judgment of grain, and the judgment of, um, of uh, fruit is connected to this time period, between Pesach and Shuas. The Arizal, the Ari speaks about in Shara Gigulim, that there are souls that become entrapped into other forms of life, whether, th- whether in an inanimate, a vegetative, or in an animal, after 120. Souls do not reach their full elevation through the out- in, the, in the present life. Therefore, they have to be reincarnated into other forms of life. And they don't become the soul. It's a whole long conversation how this works, but they don't become, actually become the soul of the animal or the soul of the vegetation. But they reside there. There's some type of consciousness that's, that's present there. And there's an elevation during this time period between Pesach and Shavuos of the souls that are trapped in, in fruits, in fruits and vegetation, and Tvua. And this, this is our result reading, understanding how, what, what the Mishnah says on a deeper level that there's some type of the reincarnated souls become elevated during this time period. This is the time period generally between Pesach and Shavuos. Just in Tzimeach, not in Tzimeach. No, 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 not in Tzimeach, only Tzimeach. Doimim is a different time period, and in and 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 in. And I'm sorry, just in Balchai, not in Semer. Oh, just Balchai. I'm sorry, just Balchai. Because the time period before that, it, correct. So that's that's before. So that's it. Yes, yeah, that's different. Different seasons. Every season of different time. Now it's between the Chai and the Medaver. That the the, the, the where an animal now have an elevation during these three months. Um, in the Arach Hashulchan which is the first thing that we have in front of us, you'll see the Aruch HaShukhan actually writes, and it's, bring that, it's brought down in the Taz, it's brought down by others, the Chok Yaakov. He says that, um, if you look, the Ike Gzeris, Pshtois Meir, Sha'avr, B'Tzarfas, Ashkenaz, a lot of the big pogroms that happened, Tzarfas and Ashkenaz, when they talk about Tzarfas and Ashkenaz, they're talking about friends from Germany, we're talking about the Crusades, and the Crusades happens during this time period as well. And it's for a very simple reason. All, all battles always usually happen during the, the spring, because especially in the ancient times. Because if you were uh, a warrior, during the winter you rested. Comes time the spring, you got to do some action. So what do you do? You go and uh, kill someone. That's like a you know, thing to do if you're a knight. So this is why there was a lot of problems during this time period. And uh, actually the Crusades were this time period. And a lot of, we know a lot of Jews were killed. During this time period, also the Chmelensky Gzeiras uh, Tachvatat, 1648 49, was also during this exact same time period. The Taz actually says that one of the reasons for Sphira is a combination of these two things: of the 24,000 students that Akiva passed away, and because of Gzeiras Tachvatat, the second half of Gzeiras Tachvatat. And he says that um, that generally it's at the time of Din. So we have this 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 idea that somehow the Rishonim are already saying that this time period. And ready the Mishnah. This time period has connected to the world of Din. I understand this a little more. Why, why is it Din? What does it mean? First of all, what does it mean that it's a time of Din? And it's a time of Din, and then Lag Boimer is not a time of Din. What happens to Lag Boimer? So, with Lag Boimer itself, most people say Lag Boimer. What's Lag Boimer? Lag Boimer is a celebration of, uh, of the passing of the Rashbi, right? Yemelul Rashbi. But if you look in Shulchan Aruch, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. What is the saying Shulchan Why do we celebrate Lag Boimer? Lag Boimer, thirty third or thirty fourth day. What's what, what does it have to do? So there's again, there's there's basically a few different opinions. Excuse me. A few different opinions. There's the opinion of the Mechaber. The basic understanding is like this: the Gemara says that they passed away. The students of Rakiva passed away from Pesach to Shulis. This is a tradition from also from the Goyin. The Meir brings it down. The Tashim brings it down. That at Pesachag, that they didn't pass away the entire time, but a third of the time, at two thirds of the time they passed away. One third they didn't. So therefore, if you break it down into threes, so according to the Mechaber, according to what he says, so what you do is like, like this: you will say that they passed away from the beginning of Sphira till the thirty-fourth, um, the thirty-fourth day, the first thirty-three days, and then the beginning of the thirty-fourth. Mixes Yom Kippurle is part of the day is like its fullness. So therefore, from the thirty-fourth forward is a time of celebration. So not really a celebration, but really 
It's it's a mix of simcha. It's like a small small joy. This is the language of the Alter. Why is it a small joy? Because the reason why they didn't die after the twenty thirty third day is because they because they were all dead. In other words, it's not like they they were, didn't die and some were survived. They actually they all passed away. So there's no reason to celebrate. Paschalamus means they they stopped passing away because there was no one else to buy. So that that's that's one that's that's the Machaber's reason. The Rama. The Ramah writes a different reason. The Ramah says that they passed away from Rosh Chodesh, Iyar, until three days before Sivan, uh, three days before Shavuos, those are the 33 days. And what happened, like Boimer, is that something magical happened, and they didn't die that day, only that day. They died the day before, they died the day afterwards, but in that day, like Boimer, something miraculous happened, and they didn't pass away, and therefore we celebrate. This is what the Ramah says. Incidentally, the Ramah himself passed away in Lag Boimer. This is another reason. So what's the reason why we joy? It's actually something happens about Lag Boimer. Why, why Dafka Lag Boimer? What's the 33 of the Boimer? We have to understand. Another reason is, is what the Mairil writes. The Mairil is one of the latest, the last time we were showing him in Germany. In the 1400s, the Mairil writes that... Um, that when it says that they passed away during this time period, but only two thirds of the time, it means all the days that were choil, all the days that were weekdays, but not all the seven Shabbos, days of Shabbos, not, not all the days of Pesach, not all the days of Rosh Chodesh. So if you do a combination of all those days, they didn't pass away for 18 days, and they passed away for, for 33 days. So therefore, symbolically, on the 33rd day, which represents that they only passed away for 33 days, we make a celebration. And they used to do bonfires. This is already in times of Mariel. They used to do this. Tell me that Mariel, right, in the Menachem, that they used to make a bonfire that day. It was like a simcha. They put on special clothes, Shabbos clothes, and they made like a, like a joyous matzah. Well, that's a good child. We can talk about it, but let's, uh, it's an interesting history with this. But this, this is the way it happened. This is the third opinion. The fourth opinion, and the reason this is the fourth opinion is what I'm really interested in, because the first opinion is a takah, what it says in Shulchan Baruch. But the fourth opinion is a more, is an interesting opinion. And the fourth opinion is what the Masha writes. The Masha, it's not a Masha in Yuvam, it's a Masha in Moed Katan, and then the Moed Katan. The Masha writes that, um, that the reason why we celebrate, celebrate the 33 days is because that is the, the peak of 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 in other words, you break you break the Oymer period into three, divide it into three. So usually you have a majority. Let's say fifty one percent will be a majority, but if you divide it into three, two 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 thirds will be killed. It will be like the super majority of this of the third, and therefore on the thirty third day thirty three point three whatever three three is a super majority. That's the point. That's the peak of the, the peak of the sphere. So this is this is a general understanding of Pialacha, that's like the basic understanding of what, what is asked to do. Now the, un, the only the reason why most people think about when they think about Lagboimer, most people think about Lagboimer as the day of the celebration of the passing of the of of the Rajbi. This is kind of an interesting uh, interesting thing. First of all, um, you mourn for the passing of all the other twenty four students of twenty four thousand students of Rakiva. And now you say that what is the day we do celebrate is the day that the other student of Rekiva passed away. Now obviously you can say there's a difference, that they passed away at a young age, or younger, they were killed, whatever, some type of death. And Rekiva, Rajbi lived a, lived a full life. But still, it's very interesting that this, the, the idea of death to one group is considered a time of mourning, and then death to the other is a time of celebration. And Michal, it's a very problematic question. Why do we celebrate a person's passing with joy? Doesn't that actually make sense? And in Allah, we know that, let's say, for example, there's this Tanais, and one of the Tanais, and one of the fasts that we have is the Tanais of, uh, of, the, of the seventh day of uh, Adar. Why? Because Moshe Avain is passing. So this idea of Dafka, and even people have a minig when they have parents uh, to, to fast on a yard site, because the idea of is morning is to fast, some type of morning. That's why we fast on Tisha B'Av. Morning is a fast. Fasting and morning is connected. So why would you, why would you celebrate? Um, that's like the, f- the first layer of the question. The, lay, the deeper layer of the question is that this day is called Yoim Hilulas Rajbi, and Hilula generally we talk, means a celebration. But in Gemara, what does Hilula mean? 
a wedding. Hayam Kivei Lulu Dami means it's a wedding day, so if it's a wedding day, why do you celebrate a person's death in a, on a wedding day? What, is that, what, is the, what does a wedding day have to do with, with death? That's, and then the, the, the other question is, it's more a technical question, is like, where does it come from? Where does it come from that it's actually the day that Rajbi passed away? How do we know this? So, what? Well, where does it say that it's the day that the Rajbi passed away? So there's a Mishnah Schidim that writes, this is already from the later Tamidim, Tamidim of the of the of the Rajbi, uh, of, of the Ari, that writes that there was there was a the Rajbi passed away on Magboimer, and he asked that you should be joyful on the day of his passing. It was a, it was a, so Mitzvah Lakaim Divra Mes. It's like the idea of the Rajbi asked, Rabbi Shimon asked that you should you should uh, you should celebrate on the day of his passing. Um, and a lot of sources that that tie Rajbi with Lagbaimer, because remember in the beginning the, the earlier sources no, no one tied Rajbi to Lagbaimer. They tied it to Lagbaimer to the death, death of the Tamid Kiva. A lot of the sources that tie it to it has to do with what it's written in the Kisari. Because the Arizal, it's clear from the Kisari that the that uh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you soon in a second, Shark of Honest and in, in, in your CSI. It says that the Arizal used to take his, took his son and he used to go celebrate on the on the mountain of Miron. And, and he gave his son an uh, option is that year, and they, like, there was a celebration. And a yoim, yoim, uh, this is kind of strange. What the word is, either it says, shemes rashbi, or simchas rashbi. So, shemes and simchas are very, very similar. Just an uh, extra ches. So we'll see that there was actually some serious people that said that maybe... It's a it's a tall satfus. It's actually people who are reading Shemes Rashbi is actually Yem Simchas Rashbi, the day that Rav Sri celebration. Day of celebration, yeah, day of his joy. But what would that what? Be? What would that we'll be? see, we'll show you in a second. What? What would the Okay, why? Yeah, why is it Simchas Rashbi? Yeah, why is it connected to Simchas Rashbi? So it's interesting that in the last three hundred years, all the Mukabal, all the Tzadikim write, everyone says this. Everyone. You know, from from all sides, from Yenis and Eichshus to Alter Rebbe to every, everybody, the Nezal, everyone says that Lag is a day of uh, the day of the passing of the Rashbi. That's that's the, that's the understanding. But it's interesting that, um, for example, the Bnei Soscher says that Hakadosh Baruch Hu is Malach Shneisim Shol Tzadikim. That Hashem actually fills the days of a person's life, so it's the day of his birthday. And the Aruch Hashulchan says that not only the day of his uh, that is only passing and his birthday, it's also the day that he gave smicha to the five Talmidim. We're going to tie everything together. So uh, you know it's David's birthday. They gave so so what what actually what actually happened on Lag Boimer that we're celebrating? What is Taker Rajbi and why? Huh? That's the same thing because it's right because I rewrites that Moshe Rabbeinu is a nitzitz of uh, that Rajbi is a nitzitz of Moshe. Exactly. Either way, it looks like a lot was happening. So we want you to understand what Taker is happening. This is the Shaila. So let's start with a little Shark of Onus Sviyasoyman. So the first, the first page, this Mar Hashulchan, where he collects everything nicely to explain the different machlokes and about what uh, the three different opinions about what what Lag Boimer is. But here, in your Lag Boimer, what is the idea of Lag Boimer? Yeah. In your Lag Boimer. Also, the Hesper of Tainus and Vils of Paim. It's the second page. Yeah. Right column, second page. Well, yeah. Second paragraph. In Lag Boimer, also the Hesper of Tainus and Vils of Paim. You should understand that Lag Boimer is a day that you're not allowed to do Hesper, you're not allowed to do fasting, you're not allowed to fall, you're not allowed to do Tachnum. Kinem Memtas, he may have him, he may din. Shu soid a sheikh dinim, am attacking the yam elu, be in your oimer. That oimer is metakin, is sweetening the judgments of the 320 states of dinim. What's the three? What's the shinkhof dinim? What is the idea of the uh, 320 dinim? You ever heard of this idea of rapach mitzoitzes? That there is 288 sparks? You ever heard this idea? Okay. So there's 288 sparks, but uh, what, what does it have to do? So sh- 320 is the name of Lakim. Just going to very quickly what this means. The name of Lakim in the first, in the beginning of Bereshis, in the first, in the Bria, in the creation, appears 32 times. 
if every single name of Elohim has one of the elements of the spheres, one, one dimension of it, so there's Elohim of Chesed, and Gvor, Tzvaz, etc., then you get 10 times 32. 10 times 32 is 320. That's the, the general, uh, the, what is called like the, 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 the shayrish of the dinim, of, of, of the world of din, of constriction. Elohim is, is a level of constriction, so the, the, the source of the constriction are these 300 in dinim. Um, now, these, the, uh, these 306 dinim, is, 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 these 320, these 320 dinim is connected, let's say, for an example, it's brought down also in Kadmon, it's brought down the word nar, like a fool, and, or the word shaita. All these words have 320. Shaita is connected to dinim. Okay. So this is the idea of din. What is happening during this time? Is a ty- there's a type of tikkun of the din, a type of sweetening of judgment. It's a time of din. Well, it's not why it's a time of din, but this is what Ari is saying. Ari is saying that it's a time of din. And during the time of Oimer, Oimer is also given out to 320 with the, the, the coil. So that the, what's the idea of the Oimer? The Oimer is the, the Oimer is the idea of, of sweetening the judgment of this time period. The dinim of uh, Shach is stronger than the dinim of Matzapach? Yeah, the dinim of Shach is, is, is Dukhra and the dinim of Matzapach is Dukhra. Means by a time, Indian, whatever. Indian, Mrs. Tachov did. Uh, what is the idea of the 24 students of Rabbi Kiva? A thousand students passed away. A time, Lama Paschal, he's the Ari is going to say why they stopped passing away in Lag Moimer. Da. Ki Rakiva Allah Shom, Shoyen Shishmasa Hoim and Hegevurus. Rabbi Akiva was the Shoyesh of his Nishama came from a place of Hegevurus. Akiva actually has five, five letters, right? But um, it's also connected to the idea of Gevura because the Shoyesh of Rabbi Akiva, the source of Rabbi Akiva's soul, Comes from from Aim Sisr from from Sisr, right? That the Mibnei Bon of Shal Sisr Lom the Torah Mibnei Brak. That from the children of Sisr they learn Torah. So the Marami Pandu says that, and and that actually says in the, it says in the, it says in the Gears in the Gemara, but in one Gears. But the Ram, that uh, who is that? Who's it? that's Rabbi Kiva? So a Yal and Sisr. You know the story Yal and Sisr. So yeah, Sisr was this, this this general, this like mini Caesar, and he was an arch enemy of Claudius Sol, and he's uh, he was killed in ba- he was killed in battle because Yal intoxicated him and then beheaded him and and they had a they had relationships with each other and and the owl became pregnant and from the descendant of this relationship became the soul of Rabbi Akiva. The Oy Zerul HaTzadik was from this, the, the, the Zerul HaTzadik, it was son of the Tzadik, is connected to Akiva. That's why Oy Zerul HaTzadik is talking, Oy Zerul, they're right there. The Sefer Oy Zerul is written, he said, the, the Sefer Oy Zerul is written by one of the Shonim, he said he wasn't sure if Akiva is written with an Aleph or a Hay, because in Bavli, it's written with an aleph, and your shalmi is written with a hey, because it's Hebrew or Aramaic. So he said that Oizaru Allah Tzadik, the last letter, Oizaru Allah Tzadik, Lishalev Simcha, the last letter is Akif Rabbi Akiva with a hey. That's why I wrote a sefer called Oizaru Allah Tzadik. Oizaru, that's a sefer Oizaru. So the Shalmi of Rabbi Akiva is connected to this idea of a redemption, which the Gemara actually talks in Nazar. The Gemara talks about this relationship between Yal and Sisra. The Gemara says this is Gdoyla Averi Lushma. Great is the, 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 the Avera for a higher intention. What's a very very lishma? This particular act, because Yal questioned if she was a Jew at that time. But let's say she, let's say the story is that she was already converted, and she she was a gay. She was gay. Yeah, of course. She was a gay. And that's another thing. That's Akiva. That that does actually that doesn't say in Gemara anywhere. That's just from the Rama. We actually don't know where the marker for this. Akiva, the Rama the Rama writes that Akiva is a ben gayer. There's no marker in, in, in Chazal for this. I'm sure the Rama had a marker. But no, he does. The Rama doesn't bring that that marker. I don't think the Rama had that gear something tomorrow. Okay, but that's not again. And that's, that's another point. That was Mamaj Ben Yosef. His father was again. That's that. That's that. That doesn't say anywhere. I was like, this is the Messiah from the Rambam. But um, but the idea is that there's something about Rabbi Akiva's quality that he draw out a, a light from a, very, a place of great darkness. Some of a sweetening of gvuras, right? This is the oil of Rabbi Akiva. He didn't know the kadas the katnas and Akiva's das gamhu koil mechesed gvuras. So das of katnas means like this. That in das. Very quickly, I'm, I know this is a Kabbalistic language, but we'll try to unpack these things a little bit. In Das, there's, there's Chachma Bina and Das, right? Wisdom, understanding, and Das, da, not awareness. In Das itself, Das is where you make the decision, right? Das is like what we call in, in the, the executive mind. So there's like a, a right lobe, a, le, a front, a, a right, part, right hemisphere, a left hemisphere, right? Different one is more creative, one is more dissecting the language. Then there's the part of in between, which is the frontal lobes, which is connected to the place of choice. That's the place you make choice. If you have good neurons connected between the right left part of the brain, then, then you're actually a genius. Not if you have a very big right brain, not if you have a big left, but if you have the, the neurons that connect the right and left brain. 
the Arago, when they dissected uh, Einstein's brain, he didn't have a so big brain, not, not bigger than any person, but the neurons connecting his right part of the brain and left part of the brain was much stronger than most people. And that's what they think that was talking about the genius of, of uh, where it came from. But the point is that, that that quality is das. What's das? Das is I take the information and I make a choice. Now in a choice, you can only, you know, there's only two choices in the world. There's only two choices. Everything's a variance of these two choices. Either you do or you don't do. That's the only two choices. Either chesed, expansion, or restriction. That's the only two choices you have. It's a right column, a left column. And then there's some type of like in between, which is like a teferis. But the real two things that you can do is either you're moving out or you're moving in. Either you're introverted or extroverted. Either you're expanding or contracting. That's the only two movements you can do. Okay? Everything else is a variation of those things. So in das, there's das chesed and das gevur, right? It means that the das can make you a choice and say, I want to do, which is chesed, I want to express. And, or das says, no, I want to, I want to restrict, which is das to gevur. Okay? These are the two reasons why das has chesed and gevur. Now, since we're talking about katnus and of din, of constriction and smallness, so it's connected to the name of Elohim, like we said before, Elohim is connected to din. That's the name that's connected to din. Now, in Elohim, this guy came visiting, in the name of Elohim, I have to turn him over. Oh. In the name of Elohim, there's two ways how to, the word Aleph, Lam, and Hey, Yud, Mem, so in the Milu Alfin, which means when you fill in, when you write the letter uh, Elohim with the Aleph, the Aleph itself could be filled out in two ways, which means you can write the Aleph, when you write an Aleph, how do you write an Aleph? No, the actual Aleph, no, not Aleph, Lamed, the actual Aleph itself. The Aleph is a Vav and two Yuds. That's, that's the, the general way. But you can actually write it with, no, one Vav slide, slanted, and then a Yud on top, a Yud on the bottom, flipping around. So there's also a tzir, which is called, which is aleph, which the, which the, the aleph, no, is yud vav dalad. Yud, vav, and a dalad. Okay, it's just a little extended, you know, you can be a little creative. So the aleph, when it's spelled yud, vav, yud, is, and that's why it's 26, which is not the name of Hashem, when aleph is, that's chesed. That's when aleph is, re- represents an expansion of chesed. When it's yud vav dalad, Dalit is dal, dalos, like uh, the idea of poor. So it represents when it's, it's, it's more in a state of constriction. So he says that the Rizal says that these two milus of Aleph, Aleph, spelled out with Yud, Vav, Yud, or Yud, Vav, Dalit, those represent the two forms of Shem Elikim. So therefore, therefore, the name of Akiva is Akiva. Ki Gimel Oisis Ekev, Hemigamaki Be Shem Elikim. Because Akiva, if you take I in Kuv Beis, which is 170, 72, 172 twice, 86, and 86 is 172, which means that two names of Elohim is Akev. You're following the, 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 the Cheshbon over here? Two times the name of Elohim. We said two times, we said Elohim is the judgment. Elohim, double judgment, is in the name of Akiva. If you take Aleph, I in Kuv Beis, you have twice Elohim, which is 172, but you're still left with the Yud and the Aleph. So that reason, so the Yud and the Aleph, that corresponds to the way you write the Aleph. You spend it with an olive, with olive with the yud, or you can spend it with the dalit. Names could be oisel akim and rules and give me oisel akim and akiva. Here, Rabbi Akiva, who are oya av, Rabbi Chol Neshamas and Shmuelis. Okay, yeah, okay. Also, it matches very well with what we learned in Parshas. Yeah, many times. Yeah, yeah. Socher. Yeah, yeah. Chumar. Exactly. Correct. 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 Okay. But Tama Yosef Mispachov Dalit. There he says the reason why there are twenty-four thousand students. Because Das of Katnus, we just said, is in the, when Das is a state of constriction, it's the name of Lakim. There's 120 Tzirufim. What does 120 Tzirufim mean? This comes from Sefi Yitzira. Sefi Yitzira says that if you take letters and you combine them with one letter, you can't make a combination. With two letters, you can do two combinations. Olive, base, base, olive. Right? So with three, you can do nine, then it goes, it goes and multiplies, and then when you have 22, you can do millions. But if you, five can be, can be, Permeated in 120 different ways. You can you can add base going dalad hey in five different ways. Now, there that's the 120. Nimsa ki yesh bechav dalad sirufim maschab ois aleph. But the truth is that if you have there's five letters, each letter begins. You can start aleph lamed hey yumen or aleph hey yud mem lamed aleph. Right? You can do it five times. So in other words, there are actually 24 ways to do it with each beginning with each letter. Five times 24 is 120. 
which means that you can do it 24 times with the letter Aleph. Since you can do it with 24 times the letter Aleph, therefore Aleph and Aleph is the same thing. One, Aleph, one, and a thousand is the same thing. So 24 times, which is the idea of Din, which is the name of the king, it's, you get from 24, 24, you get 24,000, tell me the Rakiva, that's the Cheshman of the Ari. How do you get the 24 again? You can do Aleph, you can do the, if five letters, right, you can do 125, 120 ways of combinations. But each letter you can do 24 ways. You can start with each letter, 24, you can start with the Aleph, you can do 24 ways, with the Lamed in 24 ways, the Hey 24 ways. Ah. So with the Aleph, which is the Aleph, which is the said, is the, is the Akiva, this is, this is 120, so this, is, this is the Cheshman. The, 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 the came from the Yeah, it came from the Shayish, exactly. Tamidim came from the Shayish, which means that the Tamidim and the, the Mokr, the Mokr already says, also in other places in the Ari, that the Mokr, the 24,000 student, comes from Shechem, the 24,000 that passed away in Shechem, then they get reincarnated into the Shamas of Shittim, of, Shim, of Shimon, of the tribe of, of, of Shimon. Yeah, 24,000. Twi- it's connected to Shimon. Let's, let's go to the next column. I just, there's a lot of things that we have to... Okay, When Lag Boimer comes, Okay, what is Shem Achtetam? So, uh, very simply, if you take the letters Aleph, Lamed, Hey, Yud, Mem, do the letters right before it. So, the letters before Aleph, you can't go before. Okay? Mem, you can't get before, but it's also going to be a Mem. If you do the final Mem, it's going to be a mem. So let go of those two letters. If Aleph, Lamed, Hey, Yud, Mem, let go of the Aleph, let go of the Mem. Do the middle letters of Aleph, Lamed, of Elohim. Lamed, Hey, Yud is Chav, Dalatas. Okay, what is Chav, Dalatas? Chav, Dalatas is Gematria 34. 33, about it. So it's going to give you Gematria like Boimer. That's the idea of like Boimer. Like Boimer is the revealing of this name of Achtetam. What's the total numeric value of this name of Achtetam? What's the total in the level of value? It's betachin, it's 74. It's betachin. Bitcha Hashem, ad ad, ad ad, until you, ad, you should have betachin, ad ad, until you get to the place of betachin. So this, this is the oimik, we have to, this is where we're going to go with this direction. That there's, betachin means, betachin means I trust, right? Whatever the level of betachin means. Betachin means that I am, I, I, I don't understand what's going on, but I trust, maybe in the higher level, not that I trust, I create, but I trust it's going to be good. Not only that, it, that Hashem is like with me in this situation, but I trust that it's going to be tach kut, it's going to, come, it's going to come to a good resolution. This is the higher level of the, of the Baal Shem's betachen. Now, what, you can only have betachen when you're, you're, you're touching something. In other words... Wait a second, wait a second, no, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, that's another, that's uh, Shlomo Salmai, that's another, another No, we're going to talk, okay, we're going to talk about that in a second. But I just want to say something else. That the, the Baal Shem writes... The, the, the Toldus brings, I'm not the, the, the Degel brings down the shame of the that a real Nisoyan is when the Abishna takes away your Betachen, yourself. That the Betachen itself is lost. So there's, it's a, you see, when a person goes to a Nisoyan, a person goes through a hardship and says, I'm going through a hardship, but I trust it's going to be okay. That's, that's, so that, then, you, then you're okay just by, by trusting. The, the level of darkness of, the, of, of a challenge is that even the Betachen is taken away. That you don't even trust. So, Bitcho Hashem Adeyad, you're asking, it's a prayer, it's a tefillah saying, Hashem, give me the koyach to have, Bitcho Hashem, I should have trust until I get to the place of trust. I don't trust. I actually don't trust. But I, I, I want to trust the trust. You understand? This is, so, this is, the, this is the level of, of the darkness that's revealed in the Shem which is, which is which, which is the revelation of this, this quality. Some type of level of Bitochen. And it has to do, obviously, with Din. Okay, um, that um, <coughs> that someone actually lekim lekel choy. Someone actually lekim lekel choy means I want to have a relationship with lekel choy. Kel choy is the mem is is gematria forty nine. Masa yavah lidral pnei lekim. I want to see the pnei lekim. What's the pnei lekim? Achdatam, right? The shame achdatam. The forty the 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 seventy two. Okay. So what does actually what does what does actually means like this? I don't know, where are we holding with time? Because we didn't like really start. Okay, so the, so like this. Okay. That the time of sphere, what basically what Dari is revealing, what Dari is also revealing is like this, that 
there's, there's, let's go back to this conversation that we had a few times, that on Pesach, there's a revealing of godless. There's a revealing of openness, expansiveness, clarity. It's a gift. It's a gift of clarity. That's, that's, the, that's the Yitzhiya Samsarim. The going out of Egypt means, even though you don't deserve it, even though you're not in that space, even though you don't work for it, it's like a parting. It's like the sea splits, and there's a parting, and there's an opening. And all of a sudden, you have clarity. There's an epiphany. You see it. It's clear. What you see, you see what has to be seen. You see your life in clarity. You see the world in clarity. Everything becomes clear. But because it's a, it was a gift, and even though, like we said last time, that it's a gift of your, your potential, right? You're recreating your own potential. Not as a gift of something that you, know, that you want to become. It's revealing your, your, your possible future in the, in, the, in the future, in the present. But because it's a gift, there's an issue of namadik sufa. It's an issue of, of um, shameful bread. What is shameful bread? Shameful bread means that, you know, other rights of the and Tisha Kavash A person would rather get one kav that he worked on, one small amount that he worked on, than, a, than ten from Tisha Kavash from another person. Why? Because when you work for something, you own it. When it comes to you and it's gifted to you, you don't own it. And when you don't own it, there's a, there's a level of actually of embarrassment for yourself. It's like, I have all this riches, whatever, if it's physical, spiritual, mental, whatever the riches that you own, if it's not something that you, that, you, that you work through, there's a certain level of embarrassment because like there's an inconsistency. Embarrassment comes from like where there's an inconsistency of what, what is and what, what you want to be. Like, okay, I worked hard, but then I make so much money that's, that's so incompatible to what I made. I feel like there's, there's like a dis- disconnect between the effort and its result. And also spiritually, mentally, whatever that is. Um, but sometimes you need a gift. Why do you need the gift? You need the gift to give you a vision of what you actually have, what potential you actually have. Because instead of being stuck in this small story and this small narrative, sometimes you need a Yitzhi time. You need Hashem to give us like this Yeshua and says like, even though I don't understand, even though I can't feel, okay, now I'm, now I'm gifted this. What does that do? It, t- it tells me you're actually much bigger than you think you are. You can actually achieve that if you if you just if you just worked on it. And what's the what's the what's the, the, the quality of this time? The quality of this of this time period is a time of cottonness. In in is a time of, of constriction. What does it mean it's a time of constriction? It's similar the way the Zayr, which we learned last time, the Zayr would say that it's similar to the way a person is a Satan Lachem is like the the counting is represent the counting of, of, of a man and wife which is that there's a time of intimacy, of yichud, and then there's a time where they're separated. And this is like the post-birth separation. So there's the birth. The birth is, is Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. The going out of, going out of Mitzrayim is, is the birth. There's like a birth of Klal Yisrael. And as, after the birth of Klal Yisrael, now comes a time of, of dam, of, 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 of separation. Which is a time of dam. Dam is actually the the represents a t- represents din. That's what that, that's what that's what blood represents. It's a, t- it's a time of din. What does a person do during the time of uh, uh, is is th- this idea of 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 making a bedika, like doing a bedika, literally making a checking? What is that relevant to us? Is that we're doing the bedika now? That's what Sefer Soiver is. That you're making you're doing a bedika. You're doing like a checking of your own your own qualities, of your own self. And, it's, and, and, and that's what the time of sphere is. It's the time of sphere is saying, I know what, I, what was revealed to me, I know what could become on Shavuos, and now I'm in the place of the katnas, that I'm building the vessels through my longing and yearning to achieve that again, I'm building the vessels to, to get to that place. So that's what, that's what the sphere of time is. The, ter- the, t- the time of sphere is a katnas, but the intention of the katas, the intention of this constriction, of this tame, time of separation, is just like l'chav ishal baila, just like we say with, with Anida. That the intention of the separation is only for the purpose of the, revela- of the, of the, of the intimacy that comes afterwards. Right? And, and the deeper the separation, that's the deeper the, 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 desire to get, the desire to get connected. So on one level, when we talk about that, that sphere is a time of, of the separation, in the depth of separation, so if you have the super majority of the separation, like we'll go to like the shit of the Masha, the, the opinion of the Masha. When you say that, that t- the time of sphere is a time of separation, okay, let's say you're, let's say, forget about a, a wife or a husband, let's say, for, let's say, for imagine a child, 
Okay, let's say your child is going away for the first time. The, you know, the 50-year-old boy, they're going away for yeshiva. It's very, it's very dramatic. They're going away from the home. They never left their house. And you're going to miss them a lot, let's say, if you're the mother. You're going to miss them a lot. And, uh, and they're going away for a month, right? They're going for So the first month, that they, the first week that they leave, is like, okay, they're coming, they just left. It's okay, we just remember, we just, we just left off. The week that they're coming back, they're ready. Okay, you come back in a few days. It's, it's, everything's fine. Where does it feel the real longing? Tafka the peak of the separation, where it's not, it's too far away from the beginning and too far away to the end. It's not that way, it's not this way. And because there is that point where it's too far that way and, and too far away from and too far close to, that's the peak where you actually feel the strongest longing. So in the place where you, you think is the place of the separation is actually the place where you think about the most. Because that's the place that you long to be connected to them. So the oymek of the chayshach, the, the depth of the, of, the, of the darkness, the depth of the place where there's, there's the separation is actually the depth of the place where actually there's greater longing to connect. Okay. This is actually, this is, this is one of the reasons why specifically Lag Boimer is connected to the Rajbi. Because what's, what's, the, what's the toy of it? What's the toy? What's the revelation of the Rajbi? What, what, are the, what is the revelation of the Rajbi? So if you look in contrast, Rabbi Kiva and Rajbi, it was like this. That Raj, the, Rabbi Kiva was his rabbi. Rabbi Kiva lived through the, bar, the Bakarcha revolt. Everyone knows this, right? It's a famous story. The Bakarcha revolt. If you're not familiar with Bakarcha revolt, there was a revolt. Anyways, there was all there was a story. He Rabbi Kiva carried the the, the shield of Rabbi Kiva and said Darach Echem Yaakov. He said he's Mashiach, and this is a, this is this is like seventy years, uh, year one twenty one thirty, and like seventy years after the Churban. And let's try to get to the mindset of Kali saw at that point. There's a Churban, and uh, Rabbi Shiru actually says that Talmud Rabbi Kiva were actually died in war, that they maybe were were maybe soldiers in, in the Rabbi revolt. Or it says Bishas Hashman. It could be actually they were, they were sold. Whatever. Either way, they passed. They died in that period, that time period. And us Oscar can actually mean there is, could be an image of, of beheading, which is, anyways, the way. So the 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 uh, Rabbi Kiva comes along and says like this: There's a churban, destruction. The base is destroyed. What do we do? What do we do? The problem with what do we do because of the, the because the base is destroyed is that now we can't do karbanas. We can't do the basic mitzvahs that we did that made us as a people is lost. And we don't know how long it's going to be, how long it's going to be lost. Comes along a guy, Shimon Makaziva, and Bar-Kalach, we call him Bar-Kalach eventually, which his name is also Shimon, which is important, because Shimon is the mystery name of this whole, this whole story. So we'll, have, now we'll get to this idea, that Shimon is the mystery, that comes a guy, Shimon bar, Shimon bar- and he starts a battle, and he's actually becoming victorious. And, he's, and there's, there's, there's hope in the mind of Rabbi Kiva, who's the God of Israel. There's hope that what's going to happen now, we're going we're to throw off the Roman yoke, and what are we going to do? We're going to build a base of Mikdash again. We're going to return to, we're going to build a base of Mikdash. So what's Rabbi Kiva's response to exile? Rebir- re- rebuilding, right? This is after already. This is after the Oyelim Shaman. So what does Rabbi Kiva do? And the world was chaos. The world was desolate. What does Rabbi Kiva do? He gathers, he gathers Tomin. Rabbi Kiva's a builder. He said, okay, it's destroyed, let's rebuild it. I mean, Rakiva had tremendous stamina to do this after, you know, after 24,000 students of a Rakiva. If you think about the, the quality of a Rakiva, it's, a, you know, think about a marshal. It doesn't really work in, the, in this area, but let's say, let's say there's a house that you have to put a down payment for $24,000. Barach, yeah, let's say. I don't know where this is, but let's say there's a place like that. And you want to move there. I don't know, it's in Miami, maybe, for, for the people that move in Miami. That it's, uh, that you want to to $24,000, this is the down payment for the house. And you're, you're a 50 year old guy, you work for 30 years, every year you put away uh, you know, $800, and you got after 30 years, you got $24,000, $24, $25,000, and you're excited, and you come to, come to the broker and say, I found, finally I have the money, I can build a house, I can buy a house. The Mazel Tov, everyone's excited, you worked this for many years, and then one, the, the guy takes the ca- it's cash, I don't know, takes the cash, and a fire breaks out in the way, it gets stolen, the, gemara, the, lo- the money's lost. Imagine for, for tens of years you're waiting, you're saving, you're creating, and then a friend of yours comes along and says, I know you went through a very hard time, and you don't have the $24,000, I want to start helping you out. Here's $5. This is, what, this is what the story is. He has $24,000 to tell me, 
and the 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 the, the, the Nechama is that he has five Talmidim. Okay, granted, it's our mayor, Yehuda, Rabbi Yosi. I got it, but maybe he had twenty-four Talmidim. Rabbi Akiva, they they were probably also on the very high madrigan. So yeah, you can imagine what type of quality Rabbi Akiva was to be happy and say, if I got five, I'm good. I, I can redo this again, and he did. Rabbi Akiva, you know, kula li Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva established the Shabbat. That this is this is a tremendous koyach Rabbi Akiva. But Rabbi Akiva's mindset, at least the way we understand, in terms of what happened to Gullus, the exile, and its response is to rebuild. What's the what's the Torah of the Rashbi? What's the Rashbi say? The Rashbi says no. Rashbi has revealed the Soydes Torah. What's the Soydes Torah? The Soydes Torah. The secret of the Torah is the secret is that you may not do something able to do on a physical level but you can always do it on a spiritual level. So sometimes when you think something is absent, it actually can be even more po- potent when, when it's actually not there. This is what, this is what the Oymek of Lag Boimer is, right? If the, if the 33 days of the Oymek represents the peak, the peak represents the place of separation, what is the Oymek of the Rajbi? The Rajbi is saying is, the this is the highest level of Torah that's going to be revealed. What's the highest Torah? The highest Torah is, in the place that you think that there's nothing, and I can't do anything, he says, no, that's where you can do everything. The biggest oil is being revealed. Dafke in the choshech, dafke in the place of the absence, dafke in the place where there is not. That's why it's Rashbi that also says the Gemara Yuma says that they, they asked why did the mon come every single day? Why didn't it come once? For the, once a year it comes down the big mon, and and he gave her the marshal that Rashbi gave was a marshal from a father that has a son and he's a king and he has a son and he gives him all the treasures one day and the son never shows up again. Because you got whatever you want, but every day the father gives him a thousand dollars. Every day he shows up. Because what is the what is giving a little bit? The giving a little bit means that the child is going to have a chukka desire to come see the father. This is what the oymik is: the absence, the not giving, the place of where it's choishech actually draws out the stronger light that can be revealed. Yeah, in the cave, exactly. Okay, I don't know how we got to because we we have so much. Okay, let's let's. Okay, I don't know if we should. Okay, so the ne- the, f- the next page is the Chagav is from the Chida. The Chida writes, in the Birchei Yosef, the Chida writes that um, that. Uh, oh, you see, if you see that go over there, Marv Mesimcha Ktsas Kosev Rav Magen Avon Mishum Kisav Arizal Dalad. That the Gol Echem Nenash Nachev and Nenash. There was a certain Talmud of, of, of the Ari. If you look in the previous page, it actually says this. Minik Shinogu, if you look in the, in the Kisari itself. Anyways, it says that he, he, there's one Talmud that actually said uh, the, the penitence, the, the Nichum, on, on, and he was punished. And he was punished. He said, Nachem, he said, Tachnon. He said, Tachnon lag boimer. This person said, Tachnon lag boimer. The Ari was very upset. And he said, because Ari, the, the Ari was very upset at him, because... It's le- uh, the, uh, because this is what the, the Magad of Arm brings, b'shem this kisari. The lay nanish elim pnei pnei simchas rashbi because it's a day of simchas rashbi. It's a day uh, that it was day. It doesn't say it's man. It's a simchas rashbi. The chay mash mesiv the kavanim shid that that shidur of Shmuel Vital the betiras rashbi hoy belag boimer. That the day that the rashbi passed away. If you look in the bottom, he brings down from the Ma'aseim Belukutim. He brings down Ashkasa Birki Yosi Yeshu Kasa Shabbi Shabbi Hayi Belag Boimer. Ken Kasa Bepriyat Chaim. It's not in our Priyat. By the way, it's not in our Priyat Chaim. It's in different versions of Priyat Chaim. Acharnei Shemnusos Kisvei Arei Hayi Irvu Vitoy Soifer. There was actually a lot of mistakes. This is the Chidah's writing. Nusra Mitz Nusra Hey Rosharim Shesid the Marishal Rosharim Kavon Asir Kutam Kutam Shemaisiv Kasa Belag Boimer Yom Simcha Shabbi. The Loi Bab Bepriyat Loi Mishu Betir Shabbi. It never says that it's Yom Petir Zashbi. It's Yom Simcha Zashbi, not Shemei Zashbi. So this is from the Kadmoin already, the Chidah is saying this. That if you look at the, the earlier versions of the, of the Kisari, it's actually, there's a, there's a, there's a, there was, it not, it's not so much relevant to the way we practice, because we, it's, many of you saw that it's Yom Shemei Zashbi, that's well, as always is. We made it. He never said it. He never said it. No, he never said those words. Bukhal never said those words. Yeah. There's also, if you look in the next thing, um, uh, uh, where it comes from is it comes from there's one version of, of Kisari that says, Yo, you can spell it. You can spell it. Okay, that's all I'm saying, but the thing is, 
I'm saying, yeah, that's, that's what it says. So the thing is like this, that, that all the tzaddikim from about, I, say, I would say from the time Rabbi Yonis and I shits around that time, time the Chidot, that time period, from then everyone agreed that that is, that is a day. Of, no. They, no, you're in Simcha Zashbi. In other words, if you go according to the other version, it would, it would like Bo'aymer is connected to Miran, connected to Rashbi. What exactly is that day? It's his birthday. It's the day he got Smicha. The day of Kiva. We don't know. That's where, if you went five years, you didn't know. This, this, is, what, this is what the Chidah is saying. But, but, Kali Sol is, uh, Kali Sol has a Ruach Nevui, and if they say Kali Sol today is Makabal, that today is Yom Shin Mes Rashbi, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Why? Because if it's said in the safe a thousand years ago, it'd be better. We have the vua. Kali Sol accepted it that the ruach and the vua. That's the whole Messiah Teshuvah Lapa. That's the whole Messiah Teshuvah Lapa. The whole Teshuvah Lapa lies not on an individual, lies in the collective super conscious of Knesset Yisrael. Knesset Yisrael has a ruach and a vui. That's why, you know, we talked a lot about this. Like, what, what is the koyach of the Gemara? What's the Gemara more valuable, let's say, than the Goinim? So the Rambam writes, the reason why the Gemara is because it was accepted by Klai Yisrael. That's the Koyach, the Koyach of, of Klai Yisrael acceptance. Exactly, exactly. So when you, that's why, by the way, you can never know who is part of, who becomes part of the canonical text, who becomes part of the Messiah or not. It's not the people that are popular during their time. Doesn't mean, I, you don't know, no, it's not only that. It's some, there's some people that are very, very popular. I don't want to say this person because he's Taka God be sorry. Chazdoi Kreskes. You ever hear of him? Exactly. But in his time, he was more popular than the Rambam. He lived a few hundred years after the Rambam. He was the most, one of the most powerful Jew in, in Spain. He wrote, the, he wrote a, 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 a very big critique on the Rambam of Hashem, and he said he was going to write a whole new Yad Chazaka. He was a big gone, a big tzaddik, a big gvir. He was a very wealthy man, a very influential man. And in his time, he was the most popular Jew in Spain. And 99% of the firm Jews never heard this guy's name. Why? Because Hakal Tobu Mazal feels safer to Yeshua Bechel. That that safer was not that was not counted. And by the way, sometimes a safer, hundreds of years later, it comes it resurfaces, and all of a sudden people are learning it, and it all becomes a safer. And it wasn't for hundreds of years. That's the way it is. So there's a there's a koyach of ruach and avui. Yeah, there's a lot of sasarim. Like you can think of tens of sasarim. Ramchal, was uh, no Ramchal was very popular in his time. Not not Amos. Ramchal, there was big tzaddikim that were Dovak Ramchal. Their grow was Dovak Ramchal, even Bishaita. Even when he, the, 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 the grow said that if he would be still alive, he would go, he would have. I'm saying, because Al Dabba actually brings Ramchal also in, in Lukutta Torah, Mesilis Yisrael, which is a big chiddish because the, the Magi didn't, whatever, that's interesting. But, the, but the concept of you may Svira, that there should be no Namadi Kisufa. Yeah. The whole Svira we celebrate the Rashbi. Rashbi, the Indra of his Yoyim is Falkus. So that's the, but that's he not. He writes the first thing he says that I'm not coming. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's true. It's true. It's true. Okay, so what's the oyer of the Rashbi? So we'll just learn a few little shtiklach from the oyer of the Rashbi, and now we'll, hopefully we can get to the Basham a little bit. But that is, it's, it's really what we were talking about. So the 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 the, the Indian of the Rashbi, this is a shtikl from the Alter Rebbe and, and Kotatayr. That um, he cites he has base min tzadikim. Let's just read this shtikl. There are two types of tzadikim. Yeah, the right column. Let me also say you sorry, the right column, like ten lines on the bottom, top. Kiyash beis minet tzadikim. The two types of tzadikim. Alaf oisish shem b'seis shem shavadas and beruchnis. There's certain tzadikim we'll call that are davuk in in a spiritual world. Bekavanas alev liachid yechudim al yoyin and bechinas aliyas. This is a tzadik that his intention, his way of service, and this is the way he refines the world. Is through some type of inner, we'll call this a, a vertical tzaddik. Not a vertical. A, yeah, vertical tzaddik. Which means he's going higher. There's a horizontal tzaddikim, a vertical tzaddikim. This guy's a horizontal, this person's a, a, a vertical tzaddik. Kagoyin Rashbi, just like the Rashbi, Certainly he didn't have to, he wasn't able to do physical mitzvah smaisias. Shailohi Nuzunim. It goes to Gemara, that Gemara, which is on Daf Lamed Gimel, incidentally, in Shabbos. It says that loyin azurim rak bechurve va'ayin of demaya the ivrei. He only had a little uh, food uh, and yeah, boxer and things, some water. But he didn't didn't say he had film. He came loy came mechilus mitzmatza. He didn't have matza. The kiddush la'yain ve'esek v'suka. He didn't have all those things. And this is an interesting thing because this says this says already in many svarim that the Arizal was was bechinus nuna yama. That's the 
that I'm sorry, that the Rishbi was Nuna Yama. It says also in Zoyer that it was like this, this, uh, this mist, mist, like this wa- water animal, this f- fish that's sitting and swimming in the water. But the, the, the Alter Rebbe writes, Chena Arizal, Egam Kem Chena Zu, also the Arizal. It was very good of Chana. That uh, the Arizal was also this type of very a vertical, straight up, you know, very quiet and cerebral and very in- inward. Then there's other that the service of the of the is, is bigash is physically. They do physical actions. They have a lot of joy, and they show galkem shachas oyer sal yonim moed Hashem. The simcha gilu yoyin seif baruch hu shimshkum is gala. This is a type of this is a ty- another type of tzaddik that the, that the the, the 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 service of Hashem that he does is bispashtas in in the, in the revelation of this world. So the tachlis of, 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 the, of the creation, the tachlis of the tzaddik is, the tachlis of every person is, to refine the world. But in the refining the world, there's two processes here. First, you have to like, refine it, then you have to draw something down. Let's say if I want, to, uh, I want to fill up a cup, and the cup is muddied, so I first have to refine the cup. I have to clean it out from its dirt. Then I can fill up a cup of water with a nice cup of water. So there are two things that are happening now. One is, one is the refining of the, of, the, of the vessel, and one is drawing in the light to the vessel. So the, 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 the first, the, the one tzaddik is the person that's, refu- that's, that's cleaning the vessel. It's dealing with the vessel itself. Right? They're doing the act of refining. And then there's one that's drawing down light. One that's connected to higher light. And there are two types of tzaddikim. You see this, there's always, there's, there's tzaddikim that are vertical and tzaddikim that are horizontal. I just want to say, on a side note, that, that um, tzaddikim that are vertical, it's very hard to get ashpah gashni for them. I just want to say, this, you should know this. Yeah, th- whatever. We don't have to say. But I'm saying this, this is very hard to get Ashpal Gashmi is because vertical, vertical tzaddikim is vertical. Their movement is always upwards. It's very hard to pull down Gashmias. Then they're, they're, the, the horizontal tzaddikim, it's much easier to get uh, Gashmias. I'm even you know, all different types of things. You see why all the Yeshuas come from horizontal tzaddikim or tzaddikim that are miskasha to Klal Yisrael. That a tzaddik is miskasha to Klal Yisrael. It's the same thing. There's tzaddikim that are very upgitrogen, like separate from everything. And then there's tzaddikim that like not maybe like fed people, but mispashit to take care of Klal Yisrael. Knesset Yisrael became their life. Like their are like right. That's 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 an idea of mispashit. So these are two different. Th- that's there we. It's easier to get Ashba Gashmi. I'm telling you. It's, it's easy. Yes, exactly. It's very good. Exactly. It's chesed gvura. One gvura inward, restri- uh, inside, and one is one is one is chesed. Okay, so let's go back to the Rashi. So here in Tekanas Hashavim. No, you have to go to study and you know they have to go to you have to know where to go. You have to know where the address is. But example like the Balsham, Balsham has huge spashtas. Huge spashtas by the Balsham. But he was not, he didn't give food to people, but he had huge spashtas. Balsham was uh, was a large person. I, can't, I don't know, gosh, he was large. He was, he was large. Everything. He was just large. He had a big beard, he was large. As a, no, of course you see a picture. Think for a second, you'll see it. For example, the Magid the, is very thin and uh, has a little tiny straddly beard. You can, you can see the oil from the Magid. Anyways, Takana Sashavim, this is what the Rapsalik writes. Kishoyer Shimon Koyach, Kishoyer Koyach Kedusha Shevet Shimon. The Koyach of the Koyach, the, the power of the Kedusha Shevet Shimon is Nelam Mo'id Mo'ilam Hazah. It's very detached from this world. Kishoyer Amadis Kasi Anelam. It's connected to the inner world, the inner qualities, the, the, the Soid. This is Shimon, there's a soid that, that Yaakov tells, tells his sons. He says, with Shimon, I don't want to deal with Shimon. Why does he want to deal with Shimon? Because there's a, secret, there's a secret that Shimon holds that I, I, don't know what this, this, I don't know what the secret, there's something mysterious. The Shimon is like the mysterious secret. By the way, in Chazal, all the characters that we don't know their first names are called Shimon. Ben Azai, Ben Zoyim, they're all called Shimon. Rish Lakish, they're all Shimon. Shimon is like the hidden name. Yeah, no. that's, that's Shimon. In Chazal, that's called Shimon. Yosi ben Shimon. That, by the way, in the Mishnah, will say, if he wants to say someone like an Anonymous, it's Ben Shimon. Yosi ben Shimon, is all Ashla Mishnah. So this idea of, of Shimon is like a mysterious name. There's a soid. What's the soid of Shimon? It's, the soid of Shimon is something connected to some type of inner... When you see things one way, Shimon sees it a little different. That's why Shimon is able to marry Dina, right? And Shimon is... Uh, the Mishnah talks about Shimon is Mach Masafik, the place of doubt. There's something about the Koyach of Shimon that was able to go to places, to the places where you think... Uh, uh, 
No, he's mamish. It's 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 no. It's a vertical, but it goes. Not mispasha. It goes. It penetrates deep. Yes, penetrates deep. Not, not expand deep. It's vertical down. Yeah, vertical down and up. Usually, yeah. No, you got to be up and down. You have to go because you have to not. Sure. Not so sure. You have to go all the way down. But it goes down to a place of Shimon. Shimon is connected. Also, it brings down the and that uh, that Shimon is shame oven. That it's connected with the name of, of sin. So Shimon is this this thing. But here there's a vort. Takanos Shomi writes that Chenki uh, Balti. In this, in Tchanos Hashavim, the Pesachik writes Kibalti. I have a Masoira, and the Meishalach also brings a Parsha to Tzavah. You have a Masoira. I don't know what this Masoira is, but he asked the same thing that they know the Masoira that uh, the Rashbi passed away in Lagbaim. He has a Masoira that he was Meshavet Shimon, that Rashbi was from Shavet Shimon. Not only was his name Shimon, but he came from Shavet Shimon. Who do we, who, know who comes from Shavet Shimon? We don't come from Shavet Shimon. We come from Yehuda Yisach as well. What, I mean, we come from Yehuda and Levi. We have you know, Binyamin. No, Shavet Shimon. Therefore, I can't learn this guy take the Kirchhe Beilam Hazza, the Talmud and Eagle. Therefore, in the Hispashtus, we didn't see that Abshimen, Abshimen is the highest Madrega, the highest level. You don't see that in Nigla, Gali the Torah, in Gemara, it's, you know, Machlik's Yehudim Abshimen, most times you, you don't pass like Abshimen. So why, and Rabbi Kiva, it's cool, I live there, Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva, because Rabbi Kiva and Abshimen is very different. The Gemara says, the Rabbi Kiva used to be doyish and says uh, big things about Abshimen. Trumas term term I see that you're like ma, like me and uh, you know what's the last over there that im shnayim him ani ani the ato you know there's very big little shyness about him but you don't see that in halacha in the world of of galia the Torah the real Torah we don't think that Shimon is like such a prominent person. The Rabbi Kiva was makir. He said that Rabbi Kiva was such a was such had such a high level of vision that he was able to makir malase of the of, of Rabbi Shimon. But the Talmidei, the, the other the other people of Rabbi Shimon, they weren't weren't makir malase. El b'soif yom because al hoydish shegilla yizgal esoidim leina kol el b'soif yom yom. The secret will be revealed at the end of time. This is the secret that's coming going to be revealed. This quality of Shimon will be revealed on the end of time. Okay, so this is getting back. This is the idea of what we said. The like Boimer and the time of Sphira, the time of Sphira in general is a time of Katnus. And even though it's a time of Katnus, we say that Dafka, specifically in the place of Katnus, that's the place where there's, where there's a deeper connection. Dafka, where the place where there's no Betachen, that's where we need Betachen. That's the place at the higher level of Betachen because there's no Betachen, Betachen. And this in the Oasis of Hashem is like this that um, he writes. We'll skip it all because it's a little late. Samaches. Besides katnus, she ain't always the same as work. Ma'av v'yira. Rakod er hechir v'toyich lav bli tainug shnikim e katnus. There's a type of katnus. Katnus, what the Balsham is saying, this constriction, this small space. What is katnus? Katnus is when a person is in a place where they're not feeling expansive. They're not feeling love. They're not feeling awe. Oh, they're, they're they're. It's not only they're not. It's, it's they're not even depressed. Depressed is already a madrega. You know what I'm saying? Depressed means you're at least feeling something. You're feeling depressed. That you're just not feeling. You're not alive. You're just like there's a there's a there's like there's, you're not. Yeah, you're walking around. You're breathing, but there's, there's no chayes. There's nothing. Not chayes of high and not chayes of low. Apathetic, yeah, but a very deep level of like apathy to your whole life. So this this madrig of katnus. So okay, let's let's try to back this up. There's one level of katnus that you say that what's the katnus is the katnus is. I'm feeling so distant, so therefore it brings out greater longing. Yeah, this is what the Mechal also writes about, that kav is lashon, kivu is lashon kav. When you have a kivu, when you have a desire, it's like throwing out a, a string. And that's connecting me. Like, I know what I don't want, I know what, I know that it's wrong, and I want to be different, and I want to be better, and I want to get to that place, and, and that draws me closer. And in a way, the separation, the higher the separation is, the more I'm drawn to that thing and the more closer I am. That's one madrega. But this is even actually even a deeper level. This is even deeper. Why is it even deeper? Because this is a level where it's, it's because that's a level that you have bitachin when things are not working out. Things are not working out and I desire to work out. Sometimes it's not working out and I don't even care that it's not working out. You understand? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's the countenance of countenance. I don't, I, don't I don't even want it to be better. 
you sometimes you're so bakakt. I mean, whatever your situation is, like you're so uh that you're just uh. There's no even like I ah uh, I wish I desire I want I long I don't wish I don't, I don't desire I don't want anything. Just leave me alone. Just do nothing. This is this is the this is the cottonness of cottonness when when you lose the betach in itself, and that's a higher level than the soyin. The higher level of the, the soyin, the higher level of the challenge is when you lose everything when there's nothing. It's absence. It's total absence. But what's the soyin? There's no connection. Wait, there's no connection to anything. But this is this is actually the, this is the oymik over here because. Let's let's read the Oysi the Olsham and then we'll try to explain it. Pabim ain't other again we're skipping the stickle uh the pickles card, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice piece. But uh, maybe another time. Pabim ain't other oyvid rakbi katnas. Sometimes a person only serves Hashem with katnas. She ain't a nichas by the yonim. Actually, Bachashim will look at the way they will voice of shock my cotton. She ain't sick of God or rakma at McCormacan. Afshaw oyvid be katnas, Indian oyvid but vake is godl. Even though you're bekatnos, you're serving in the highest level of dveikas. No, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you like this. There's mentes. There's, there's 49 steps, right? So the 49 steps correspond, obviously, to the 49. 49 there's, there's, there's 50 madregas of bina, right? Mem shari bina. There's 50 level madrega, 50 madrega, and. And even Moshe Vatachser, Ma'atam Alekim, the Gemara Hashanah says that that the Madrega, the fifteenth, the fiftieth level, is Chaser Echad. He was missing that point. That that thing says the Rakanti, based on the Ramban, got in this week's parsha, that the Rakanti writes that Sfiras Oimer. Why do we say Tispa Chamishim and count fifty days? But you don't count fifty days; you count forty-nine days. He says because the counting forty-nine days is the Mem Tes Shara Bina. That's the forty-nine Madregas of Bina that you achieve. The fiftieth is the Chaser Echad. That's the one you can't count. That comes on its own. That's the castle that comes later. Okay, that's 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 what that's what it says. There's a there's a there's a more the Gevurt Chadush Shariim says like this that the so the, the language of the Gemara is that Mem Tes Chamishim Shara Bina Nivru. There was fifty Shara Bina. That Moshe Rabbeinu was Nitno Chaser Echad. He was given fifty minus one. So why did he say minus one? He said he was given fifty forty nine. Why is it he was given fifty minus one Chaser Echad? She says no. The fiftieth level is the chaser echad. The missing one is the fiftieth level. It's not like he was missing one level, forty-nine, le- fifteen level, and he was missing fifty levels are given. He only reached the forty-ninth level. The fiftieth level was not given. Chaser echad. He was missing that one. No, the chaser echad is the fiftieth level. What's the fiftieth level? The fiftieth level is the madrega that you feel, don't feel. You're ch- you're chaser. I'm nothing. I have nothing. I am nothing. Yeah, okay, it could be it also. Yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be. Could be. The chaser echa means the chaser echa is the missing one. Is this is the level of dvekas the Balsham is saying? Man be'iu zayir irav. The the less you are, the more you actually are, because the more you are, the more you're just finite. Let's say you're you're above seichel. You understand? Okay. How much do you understand? You have feelings. How much do you feel? There's always a maximum. There's, 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 a, there's a measurement, and when you're dealing with 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 the level of the forty nine, there's mem tasharit panim tayr, mem tasharit panim tami. There's always the opposite. Okay, I feel this, but tomorrow I feel that. I don't feel that, and then tomorrow I do feel that. It's always a dichotomy, always a duality. It's, you're never actually getting out of that smallness of the space. S- this is what the Baal Shem is saying that sometimes, in the ultimate madrega of katnus. And I don't even have betachin. I hope to have betachin to get the betachin. I just trust, trusting. I trust and I trust. But I don't. I don't even feel it. I feel nothing. The moment I say I'm nothing, I'm everything. The moment I say I'm chaser echad, I'm taked the shar chamishim. I'm the fiftieth level. And this is this is the oimek of the gilu of the rashbi. This is the revealing of the toyes rashbi. The toyes rashbi, the toyes anissa. Toyes anissa says everything that you see. This is why it's yomi lulu the rashbi, because it's the day of his marriage. The day because you see death. Rashbi says, what you see death, I see as marriage. Whatever you see as one thing, I actually see it as the opposite thing. But the moment you, see, you, you start seeing it as the absence of something, and, and it's not there, and it's a chesarn, and I feel countless. What do you mean I feel countless? I feel nothing. Okay, but now you can actually feel, now you can be connected to everything. The, 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 you're eating in, in, in the highest level of dveikas. Because if it's me, 
then it's small me, extended me, but still me. How much could you reach? Okay, you can reach 49 levels. And you can talk a reach. Maybe you get to the 49th level. But to reach the Madrega's Achas, this is, this is the, the highest Madrega, the Madrega 50, that's the revealing in total absence, in total, in total emptiness. And the day, this is why it's, a, like a, it's like a funny day, not a funny, it's an interesting like, day of, of, of like Boiber. It's like there's, there's, there's death and there's, there's death. There's, like, there's two types of death. Like we're commemorating the death, and then we're saying, but there's another type of death. There's a death that's stuck at the ending of everything. Pascal almost, and, that's, and then there's Avelis. So okay, I just said on the floor and I give up. Then there's another type of death that was actually, it's the opening of everything. Yeah, it's the death of the ego. And it's, and, there's, and it's the opening of everything. And it's the highest level of joy. And therefore, it, um, it can muskasha to everything. There's no particular mitzvah that has a particular time and a particular space I connect it to because that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, but you can do karbonas on a much higher level. And you can do everything on a much higher level. So this is the oymik of the, of the gilo, of the, of the, of the rashbi, the revealing of the rashbi, the oyer that came down of the rashbi is the, it's, is the essence of the oyer agonus. That's why the 33rd word in the Torah, Barash is boy, like he right up, is oyer. What's that oyer? Is light. What's that light? That's the oyer agonus. That's the light that, that's before, it's, that's the light of the yamechad. There's a light that comes in the fourth day of creation, which is already a light. There's a sun and the moon, and the coming, the coming, going, coming, going. But then there's Yom Echad, not Yom Rishon, Yom Echad, the, the, a singular day, not the first day. It was Echad. That's the day. That's the that's the ultimate day. This is the the, the Oymik that was revealed through the Talmud of Rabbi Kiva, and Rabbi Kiva also reached, of, of course, Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva reached the level of not Yatsin Shmasa Be'Echad. So the Medrash Shabbat and Beresha says that, you know, that his, his soul left with Echad. That Echad refers to Echad, which is, the, the, is, is Yom Kippur. The Rebbe Kippur passed away Yom Kippur. And it's Achas Bashana. And the Achas Bashana is the Yom Echad of the Bria that, that in the beginning of creation. Because that's the, that's the Gila of the, of the Aragonos. Which was in the, in the Oyer of the Rebbe Kippur was revealed Davke through, through his Pashtas. And uh, through an expansiveness. This is why Rebbe Kippur was was married many times. He was very wealthy. He says his, his yad was yad shalaniim. He was married to Batrina Nisa. He married a princess. I don't know if you know the whole story. First he married Rachel, which is a whole other story. He was a person that had a lot of his pashas and, and unlike Rabbi unlike unlike unlike, unlike uh, Rashbi, who lived in, in a cave for thirteen years, and when he came out twelve years after he came to the cave, he wanted to destroy the world. Maybe she said, "Go back to the cave." The Habu Asik Rashbi loyal to Biyadam. The Gemara says, right? Many tried to tell him Asik and loyal to Biyadam. It didn't work. Because Rashbi is this vertical person that goes all the way up and all the way penetrating very, very down. That's one type of thing. And then there's this spashtas type of thing, which is the thing, which is the more expansive thing. So therefore, a person that is spashtas leaves the world as a chesarn. But a person that is oimek roim, oimek tachas, when the person's absence is actually revealing even the higher light of connectivity and the oimek of actually being everything. And this is the Torah of the Rashbi. So they should help. We should celebrate like Boimer, Emir Hashem. Uh, unfortunately, not by you, but uh, right over here. And uh, we'll see you all on Wednesday night. There's going to be a big at and there's going to be fire. And uh, Shlomo Levy are going to play. It's going to be good. Wednesday night, what time? Maishi, what time? What time is Wednesday night? Like Boimer? I guess after Maya, yeah. Yeah, 8.39.